the end of um, autumn, just before the winter, he will build up his fat reserves and he will weigh about 28, 29 pounds. A full grown badger will be about three feet long from nose to tail. You notice his claws on the front, normally about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half long. And they are used for digging. Badger is a persistent digger and will continue continuously dig in his set, which is an underground home consisting of a large amount of tunnels and chambers where they live. They're a clean animal and they will take bedding down into the set, occasionally bringing this up to air. To air. Um, the bedding is rolled into the ball under the chin and in between their two front legs and they will walk backwards all the way to the set with it. And that bedding will consist of whatever is around in the area, grass, bracken. Bluebell leaves are a good favourite for the bedding. <coughs> so, Frank, tell us a bit about the work of the Essex Badger Protection Group. Uh, the group has been going for about 20, 20 years now. I'm the chairman of it, which I've done for the last five. And mainly what the um, group does is look after the welfare of the badgers all over Essex. That's South End, Brentwood, Chelmsford, Thurrock, you know, that sort of area. Uh, we deal with planning applications, highways, um, prob one of the main things we have around here is problems with badgers in the gardens because obviously when they're building more houses, you know, developing the area, the badgers are losing their habitat. So being a persistent animal, they keep coming back to the same area. And of course that area ends up being someone's garden, so they dig up the gardens. So that's the main, um, one of the main things we do with the badger group. We look after there are quite a few sets, particularly in Thurrock, which we try and get round regular monitor, keep an eye on, make sure they're not interfered with at all. Badger baiting and that doesn't happen that often in Thurrock. So, you know, that side of it, we're fairly lucky. And what exactly does badger baiting mean? Um, a badger will be dug out of the ground, then he will be put in a confined space with normally one or two terriers and the terriers will fight with the badger until they've practically killed it. What tends to happen is the badger will either have his jaw broken or one of his front front feet so that he doesn't kill the dogs or she doesn't kill the dogs basically. So the instance of that happening has, has that decreased or increased over the years? Uh, that is decreased. So it does, unfortunately, it does still happen in England, but not as much as what what it used to. I think because the badgers are now protected, that has put a stop to a lot of it. And that is why the badgers were protected. They were never protected because they were becoming extinct. It was purely for all the persecution they got. In Have you any idea actually how many badgers are in, say, Thurrock or Essex in general? Um, it is difficult to say, but a set can average anything from 5 to 15 in there. And what type of creature is it? Is a badger? Is it sort of a lovable creature? Um, yes, I mean, they've obviously got the black and white striped face, the grey grey body. They're quite an intelligent animal and a persistent digger. And that is one of the problems with them. When they decide they want to move into someone's garden, obviously they will dig, because they do live in the ground in what is known as a set. So is that one of the factors with, for example, building on green belt land, and certainly in an area like Thurrock with regeneration, that Essex Badgers Protection Group have to have an input on when they say there's a badger set here? Yes, we like to. And we, and we do try, you know, and hopefully here for all these things. Thurrock Council's very good, they do 
send me a list of planning applications. So all I have to do is, you know, just go through that list and see if any of them tie up with a badger set or any known details. And do you get funding problems?